YouTube, this is Charlie426, and today we have a sort of somewhat a different review. Uh, today we have the review of the Optimus Prime model kit from Flame Toys. Uh, Flame Toys is another one of those third party companies, but that, that is actually uh, licensed by Hasbro. So, here um, I recently uh, got to know about Flame Toys with, with uh, various advertisements regarding their products and uh, I've also recently known that, or learned that they started to make model kits out of Transformers, which is pretty interesting because I think that's something that I haven't been really aware of or never thought to be to ever happen. So this, I think, this is their first model kit, and the first model kit is a Optimus Prime kit, and it's just Attack Mode. Now, um, I do read a, a good amount of stuff on the wiki regarding Transformers, but I am not aware on what which Optimus Prime version is this. Like, I know there's like comic versions, there's a, like animation versions, there's games version, but this one I have never seen before. So, uh, please excuse me if um, I am not aware about certain aspects regarding the review. Uh, and now, Flame Toys is actually, despite being a third-party company, it is actually a, a company that's licensed by Hasbro. So. Once again, this is why I was able to get it. It's not like some sort of bootleg. It's actually like an official, legit product. So you can see all the boxes actually very colorful. And I can definitely see that the company has given a lot of consideration and thought of regarding the design of the box. Really love that uh, box design. And yeah. Anyway, let's get on to the review. So, uh, oh yeah, before the review, also I would like to mention that this is their manual. Uh, they, I really love the cover. It really looks like it's like a small comic book, and really love that design. And another thing I would like to mention is that the instruction manual is fully colored, like unlike Bandai Gunpla kits, where only like one or two pages are colored and the rest is, how should I say, like in black and white. I do like this aspect because it does help a lot. However, there are some other other aspects that uh, this manual is kind of bad at, or should I say, kind of lacking. Um, because the stickers, um, you can see this kit does have stickers, however, it's really hard to tell, uh, when to apply them, because, uh, if you look at this, man, you have these S, these S are the stickers, so, cause it's really hard, because in, unlike Gunpla, they do show you, like, a small stick, uh, like a small marking of where to put a sticker a little bit more better, this one, uh, not so great, so it's kind of tricky, but not impossible, so you gotta need to read, so there are some stickers where I'm still not able to find on where they, they were supposed to go. So keep that in mind. Anyway, let's get on to the review. So I'm going to get put the stand away and let's see what you are supposed to get. First of all, obviously you get the Optimus Prime kit. It's himself. You get two uh, fist, jo uh, fist hands. So those are just really uh, knuckle or fist hands that, you, that cannot hold anything. You get his axe. Um, uh, the which I will get into later, but yeah, this is his axe, and then you get his gun, or cannon, depending on how the size is, but yeah, and I do really love how this looks, because I have seen the, I do remember like the G1 generation uh, design, and it, it does definitely look like they were trying to go for something like that, um, and then we get, uh, where is that, now we have two of these small, how should I say, connectors, uh, which is meant for to store the weapons. However, they do not make sense. I'm just gonna say they, they don't really make sense. So I'm not sure you'll be actually using these too often. And then here's another small piece, which is actually an interesting aspect because this is actually for the handle of the axe, which I will demonstrate later. But yeah. And then finally, we have its sticker sheet. Now, the sticker, it may look pretty sticker heavy, but it's not that bad. These stickers are mostly for like those small details, lights, and sort of stuff. So, however, I'm gonna just say this right away the sticker sheet isn't that great. So, I really, really suggest that you invest in like metallic paints or chrome paints because, um, number one, the small ones aren't that great because, um, the sticker itself is one of those hard to peel type of stickers where if you don't peel it properly, you peel off the paper back that's on it. So you're going to have to struggle a lot to get rid of that, of peeling that off. Uh, number two, like some stickers or some surface areas of the kit aren't really meant for stickers where if it's like a flat surface, that's fine. But there are some surfaces that aren't flat and applying these stickers, some of them don't work. 
And another thing is that if I could like tell uh, Flame Toy, some of these stickers actually don't really, um, their size actually don't match up. Some of them they have like really weird size uh, size fit issues. So that's one aspect that, that I think they should improve. But other than that, uh, I will point point out uh, what stickers I've used and what where they're supposed to go. But yeah. Uh, other than that, the kit quality itself is very, very good. If this is really their first uh, model kit product, they really deserve um, an applaud because, boy, I was re I actually had really fun building this kit. Okay, now let's get into the review. Now, uh, by the looks, it definitely looks like one of those uh, pose poses that or Japanese anime robots that loves to have like this really, really small app. Or a thin app design like the IBO stuff, but uh, I can assure, you, despite it looks, its looks, it's it, it does not have the same issues as, as an HG IBO kit has. The the waist section is very very strong. Um, and just before I start, here is like a size comparison between the two. Uh, so this is I can't really say or tell you how what scale this kit is because I don't think Transformers had scales to begin with. And keep in mind, these are. Two different brands or companies so obviously there's no going to there's no like skill that would fit in so this is an HG kit 1 to 144 scale so you can definitely see it's definitely bigger than a typical HG kit and I have done some size comparison with some master grades I have and this is this thing is still smaller than a typical master grade so it's height or size wise it's definitely it's basically between an HG and a master grade so yeah all right, now let's get into the review for real. Now, another thing is that this kit may be transformed. I mean, it is transformed. However, it's it's not transformable, which it's I'm I'm fine because it's their first kit. If it is, if if this is their first product, it's fine. I'm pretty sure they're gonna work it out. But of course, I have heard some rumors where Hasbro does not allow their third-party companies to allow their uh, their products to actually transform. But anyway, let's get on to the review. Uh, let, all right, let's start with the head. Oh, I think I zoomed in too much. The head. I really like this head. Now, I, I am aware Flame Toys is making another second Optimus Prime pin, which is based on the IBW comic, uh, which is more ha does which has a more clunky form, and I am definitely getting that. The head. Now, I am really glad that the eyes are clear pieces. I really, really would have hated it if those were stickers, but those those eyes are actually a uh, clear blue, kind of a dark clear blue color. And of course, this uh, gray or silver area is a sticker on the on the forehead, and you have these side antennas that can move a little bit. Oh, what the? Okay, sorry about that. Now, when I was building the, when I was building this, it it was able it did sort of move a little bit, but now I don't know they're kind of stuck at this point. But you, those um, those antennas on the sides do can, can move a little bit up and down. And then the head articulation is pretty good. It can go down that much. And then, well, up, not so much. And then a 360 twist on itself is possible. But once again, um, when you're twisting the entire head, you can't twist the... How should I say? Yeah, I think we're going to take this part off. You, When you twist the head, the problem is that you can't twist the neck joint that's on the head. So once again, if you do twist the 360, make sure that thing is back in position. Okay, um, so that's it for the head part for stickers, I believe. And then I would like to show you on the body part. Now, the body part, I, I sort of forgot three part, three stickers or forgot to color three areas. Okay, now these uh, you can see these parts. Now, those were supposed to be the, those really small gold stickers. Number one, they do they would not stick. It's I'm not sure if, it, if they were weak or the fact that they weren't peeled off properly. They were so small that it was kind of hard to tell. So anyway, they wouldn't stick, so I decided to use a Gundam gold marker, metallic gold, and then color them. And it turned out pretty okay, and then we have three more here, which I forgot um, to color. But once again, I, I um, reading the manual regarding for stickers was very hard. So once again, this is the part I wasn't aware of. I only just found out now. Okay, uh, for, okay, for the shoulders... Um, Obviously, those shoulders, these parts are stickers. A lot of people on Facebook were asking me if whether those have the engraved Autobot symbol. No. Behind that sticker is just a, a flat gray piece uh, where you apply the sticker on it. So the white and the red, they're all a single sticker. I just want to mention that. Okay, so for the shoulder articulation, it's pretty good. So 
uh, you can go forward that much and that's it and the shoulder the way how it's designed is pretty interesting so these are just shoulder armor so um these parts the shoulder armor itself that has the autobot symbol is not connected to the arm but it's just like hanging there it's between the actual sh real shoulder and the connection part so uh, you can kind of move the shoulders like that if you want to do so uh, another thing is that these parts the the pipes uh, the vents the vent pipes they can't they might fall out a little bit easily but not too bad but if you're actually having trouble I suggest you glue it on uh, so for the arm itself you know what actually there we go the arm itself can go almost 90 degrees uh, because of the how the overall kit design is it's kind of hard to tell where whether it's it is 90 degrees or not but you, it can almost go 90 degrees so let's say about 80 or 80, 85 can go there you have your typical 360 twist and then a double jointed bend and typical ball jointed hand of course and you do have one more moving point right over here that can that moves the wrist like this kind of like the, how the genoise works but in a different angle and okay uh, i was wondering if i can show that but i guess it's not meant to be to happen like that now because what i was talking about is that the way how these arms are con how the joints work is that unlike gunpla where you have uh, at the end of the tip of the joints where you have like these pegs connecting to the other pieces no this thing does not have that you just it looks like it could be slided in and out but yeah you, as you just saw i tried to pull it out to show you guys a demonstration but it's not coming out so i, I don't know how they engineered that but it works okay uh here's the back look of it i forgot to mention uh i do like the fact that on the back you have this spine looking thing which is which gives another extra character or a design uh, aspect into it so that's very good uh, of course however because of the design most of the time it's really hard to make it make him like uh, straight his back so uh, so most of the time you might see him look like he's like his back is like kind of folded or sh um, going forward so okay uh, so for the body as mentioned this thing does have an ab crunch a really good ab crunch actually because there's two bending points uh, there's the upper body and then we have this part and then we have the middle section right over here so because you have like two moving points you can go up that much and then for that much all right and then 360 twist I would not recommend this because obviously it's, it's not possible I mean there's some parts colliding to each other and yeah I don't want to risk anything uh, okay, now I would like to talk about the waist. Now, unlike Gunpla, I mean, for those who aren't used to like model kits, it's fine. This thing does not require any glue. But if you do read the manual, some parts, especially uh, on the waist section, this entire now, other than the moving front skirt, this top white part right over here, I'm pointing at this one. Uh, it mentions you to how should I say? Uh, it's suggested or or recommended that you apply glue to these parts. So connecting to the blue parts honestly i can see why because uh, for the back skirt it's kind of wobbly it's kind of wobbly but it's not falling off for me so i guess if you want to have an ensure connection or connect it you don't want anything falling off you, you can glue it so uh that's one thing and the front skirt there's they come in single pieces and they do move a good amount um and then for the legs uh okay they, you can go about less than 90 degrees because the size colliding with the uh the front skirt it can i think it would be able to go 90 degrees but because of the other design stuff that's kind of colliding once again and you have a now it does go more than 90 degrees but i think this could go more if it weren't for the design but once again that's its limit and um these feet i love it because you have you have the first connection for the entire feet which is a ball joint and then you have another connection here on the front part this front part also has its separate connection so this actually does help a lot when posing so that has a very good pivot as well so you can see that it, it can pull out a lot of good poses with these things i am very surprised on how the quality is on this okay um now other than that i should mention stickers i've used obviously for the head i use the silver one for the uh for the shoulders autobot symbols uh, another sticker I did use are these red ones on here, which is on the around the waist section and on the legs or size These were supposed to be also ye like ye metallic yellow. I decided to color in metallic gold uh, Those were supposed to be stickers uh, these parts these red sections on the inside of the leg are stickers um, Another again once again these on the outside stickers these parts is also a sticker 
uh, on each side. So those are like sky blue metallic color sort of thing. And for the wheels, despite this thing does not transform, it does have like the extra detail regarding wheels. And I am so glad that these are not like the cheap ass rubberish material. Now, oh, I shouldn't mention these things does have poly, sort of something like polycaps, but they're not the same quality as Bondi. They're actually they despite they are sort of rubbery they're more uh, harder they feel much more harder and sturdier than typical uh polycaps that's used in gunpla so yeah i don't know maybe they mixed in more plastic in it but it, it works so yeah uh once again these uh tires are also pretty much uh plastic as well so once again you don't have to worry about anything deteriorating or like you know getting sticky and such and if you want to rotate them, they could, they can rotate, but I don't really suggest that because they are a pretty firm and tight connection. Okay, now let's look at its equipment. Okay, first of all, let's go on with the basics. Let's get the, the gun. Very, very good looking gun, basic. And um, I have this on the left hand, but it doesn't really matter. You can attach this to any of the hands. So before I show you guys that, the hands are ball jointed. However, another thing that you need to worry or be careful is that when you pull, take out the hand, uh, the this part that's co that covers up that moving section, uh, moving wrist can fall off, can you know pop out or fall off. So be careful. Uh, once you have the gun in, in the hand, it's no problem. It really looks good. Very basic and very powerful looking. No stickers on the gun as far as I can tell. Okay, so I'm going to pull that out again. And then reattach the hand so nothing pops out. And then I'm going to re... So to, to detach the gun on the hand. Now I'm just talk, talking about this just in case there are like Transformers fans who's not aware or who aren't really used to model kits. Um, okay, there we go. You have to detach the hands. So you have to separate the, the hands like the, like the, in two pieces. And there we go, we have the gun itself. You can see on the handle that has it, this thing, like Gunpla, it does use that uh, hole and peg system on the weapon on the handle. However, forever, however, this isn't like, it's exact, it's not like an exact tight fit. So. Uh, for the gun, it's okay, but for the axe, it may feel a little bit wobbly. So anyway, despite that, and so it, it is designed to use in either hand, and I would like to mention on the storing process. Now, uh, I'm just going to show you guys the manual. There, there are three ways to store them. However, like two of them, it does not make any sense. It, it says you can hold, store the weapon like this on the back. Uh, this one is actually the one that really makes sense. The other two, I really don't know how that works. Or oh, technically, the last one does could work, but the first one is telling you to connect this piece like this, as far as I can tell, and then you have to connect this piece to this hole, which does not make sense because the handle. Yeah, I I can't. I mean, I can sort of, but then the hand handle will be pushing the head like that. So no, I'm not even gonna try that. Second one, you have all these. You see these four pegs. And you have these two holes, and I guess it's not rocket science, but you can you can attach the weapon like that, and there you go. Now I guess this is why they want you to glue it, so just in case it doesn't fall off together. And then lastly, um, now this one's mostly meant for the axe, but also it is it can be used for the gun, and, to, and it tells you to use one of those pegs that you saw, connect the peg like that and this one actually has a tight connection but the axe doesn't and then connect it like this, like this however not the best connection as you just saw and it really really looks unstable so yeah I don't think this is this looks pretty nice so I suggest you use the one that you know you connect it to the back uh, same goes for the axe the only way you can store the axe is like this however once again does not make any sense it collides with the shoulders and it is just way too big for anything. So I try. I, I'm forcing it, and it sort of does work. But once again, it's very unstable for me, or at least for mine. So if you don't have any issues with yours, that's great. So I'm just gonna tell you that I'm. This is just. It could be just my problem, but yeah. Okay, what's the hand now? The axe. Uh, one thing. For now, oh, I forgot to mention on the chest. Other than the eyes, this chest section right over here is actually a really, uh, this is also a clear piece, so that's a very big bonus. 
and behind the chest you can there is actually another gray piece inside that shows the detail and there is like a small engraving of the leader of mate um the matrix of leadership sorry about that there is like a small not too detailed but there is like a small shape engraved in that looks like that so that's another good bonus i can't show you guys because it does not open at all okay for the axe pretty much simple now i was hoping that this piece would be like a, a clear red but it came in entirely gray and you use four stickers for the actual blade which i kind of failed and then these uh and these four of these stickers on each side um, two stickers on each side and the way how as I show you the whole storing the weapons isn't that great but holding the weapon is no problem at all however once again as I mentioned it's kind of wobbly but once you have it in the tan no problem at all now I'm just a review so I'm not gonna show you guys what pose you can do that depend really really depends on how you deal with the kit and finally that's that interesting piece we had um, just in case if you're storing the axe you have this part which connects the, the hand to the weapon if you don't like that you can just cover it up with this piece i think this is, okay the uh the piece does have an up and down so there we go you can cover it up and it looks like a natural handle and that's pretty much it i think uh for the legs um yeah Oh, I forgot. I should mention that those who are wondering, the legs do have a side swivel, but very kind of stiff. So not. So be careful. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is the Flame Twins Optimus Prikem, and I definitely really love the build and uh, the looks of it. Now there are some pros and cons. There are some parts or areas regarding the kit. It's entirely that's that could be improved, but hopefully, uh, Flame Toys improves it. You know, you know time to time. Uh, so for those who are like Transformer fans and who wants to get into Gunpla or start into model kits, this is a great start. Or the other way around. So I would definitely recommend this for those who just love it or just who are like both Gunpla and Transformers fans. Anyway, thank you for watching the review. This was the review of the Flame Toys Optimus Prime Attack Mode model kit. If you guys got any questions or requests, leave a comment below. I still have more kits to buy and build and make reviews out of. So please stay tuned. Until then, see you guys next time!